Hello, I'm Glorious Liar, and this is the fifth installation on my Glitch Explanation series. Today I am going to be talking about Transformation Barrels. Transformation Barrels are Kong-specific barrels that transform your Kong into a more powerful variant, and require an upgrade from Cranky to use. In this video I will show that you can actually use any of them, regardless of what Kong you are. Let's begin. Here are the various transformation barrels that you can access during normal gameplay. Each of them drain your crystal coconuts as you use them. You have Mini Monkey, an ability that makes Tiny very small and allows you to enter small enclosures and be carried by squawks. Strong Kong, an ability that makes DK invulnerable to most damage sources. You can actually stack the effect by entering multiple barrels. It creates a lot of lag, but doesn't change the effect. Rocket Barrel, an ability that lets Diddy fly through the air and shoot peanuts. A rank stand Sprint, an ability that lets Lanky move quickly without losing a rank stand. And lastly, Hunky Chunky, an ability that makes Chunky very large and allows him to interact with certain objects. It's easy to bypass the detransformation triggers by clipping out of bounds, which you can do on many pieces of collision, such as the shell and japes. This allows for some neat sequence breaks. To begin the explanation of how we can use the transformation barrels as any Kong, I need to explain some things about the tag barrel. I've already showed off tag barrel storage in my last video, but as a refresher, entering a tag barrel while transitioning to a new movement state, such as descending in the air to the falling state, you are prevented from being locked into the tag barrel. Normally it locks you into place, but with TBS you can move freely. With Tag Barrel Storage active, Transformation Barrels are still accessible. The tag property is tied to the camera position, because it is responsible for loading objects by proximity. If the camera is locked into place, which it is initially by entering a tag barrel, you can remote tag from far away. You can escape the camera lock by entering first person. Playing your instrument in the tag barrel void clears it, because the ability clears the instrument void in the same manner as leaving a tag barrel. If you walk out of range of the barrel and back into it, it's still active and waiting for a tag when you return. Quick side note on the topic of TBS and Kong specific actions. If you activate TBS in Fungi Forest as Chunky and pick up a steel keg, switching to Lanky does this. This was found by Adam Whitmore. Thought it'd be fun to include. Now to the exploit. First I'll show how to use Rocket Barrel with another Kong one of the most practical uses of the glitch. Xcord was the first person to discover some of the side effects of TBS in 2014, so huge shoutouts to him. First we get tag barrel storage in some manner. Here we'll use falling from high up to activate TBS. We escape camera lock by entering first person and play the instrument to clear the tag barrel void for visibility. Next we head up to outside of Fungi Forest, and get Rocket Barrel. You'll notice that the flame effects are missing. This is an effect of TBS. Now we go back in range of the Tag Barrel. We need to be careful not to tag with A or Z, so we spin the barrel periodically to initiate a button press. 
By tagging at the edge of the range of the tag barrel, we swap Kongs but keep the rocket barrel effect. It's important not to do it too close to the barrel, because getting kicked out of a tag barrel, even remotely, forces a falling animation that will kill rocket barrel and cause you to fall. Notice that the gun is still accessible and shoots feathers while we are Tiny Kong. Now we can go wherever we want with Rocket Barrel as another Kong. Note that I could have selected any Kong from the barrel, and it would have been successful. Here are the other transformation barrels being abused with TBS. Some other barrels, such as Hunky Chunky, require an additional step of being in the range of the tag barrel as you transform in order to get the full effect. In Japes we can get TBS, jump into the Hunky Chunky barrel, and switch to Tiny, resulting in Hunky Tiny. It's quite satisfying to abuse this as other Kongs. Note that you can still easily clip out of bounds as other Kongs with this effect. In Fungi, we can get TBS and initiate the Rabbit Race, giving us access to a Rang Stand Sprint. From here we run into range of the tag barrel and tag tiny. Tiny is now performing a rank stand sprint. Again, it's quite satisfying to see this as other Kongs. Note that Tiny is not only still able to beat the rabbit race, but can enter a mini monkey barrel, resulting in a mini tiny in a rank stand sprint. Pretty hilarious if you ask me. In Helm we could get TBS and enter the Mini Monkey Barrel before the pipe. As we are transforming, we can tag Chunky and get Mini Chunky. You can actually get in this pipe without Mini Monkey and get the miniaturization effect, but something I didn't know before filming is that Chunky can get softlocked behind this gate as it closes. Lastly, we can get TBS and Fungi behind DK's barn and navigate to the Strong Kong barrel. Here we can switch to Tiny and get Strong Tiny. Again, I'll note that these effects would work switching to any Kong. I just enjoyed executing them with Tiny Kong and used Chunky to show off how tiny you can get. Next I want to show a practical application of this glitch. First I need to explain skew. Skew is accomplished in a few ways, but here is the most practical way. By getting out of bounds in water via swim through vertical walls, you can hit a plane of water from the side. Doing this with a gun out, rather than from the surface of the water, allows you to swim with your gun out. Entering first person with your gun out, while out of bounds and not under the water plane, forces you out of water. If we rotate ourselves in the water with our guns out, rotate back as far as possible, and enter first person, we keep the skewed angle property. This is called gun skew. Skew is useful because it allows us to walk straight through most vertical walls seamlessly. It's surprisingly persistent so long as we don't enter some specific animation states or enter a loading zone. You can even get TBS with Skew Active. Combining Skew with Rocket Barrel gives us Skewed Rocket Barrel, allowing us to fly out of bounds straight through walls. By doing this and tagging Tiny at the edge of the Tag Barrel's range, we get Skewed Tiny Rocket Barrel. Now it's time for an exploit. By heading over to a specific wall in the giant mushroom area and flying out of bounds, we can go straight to the beanstalk area. Conveniently, Tiny's beanstalk golden banana is always up in the air and waiting to be collected. We can just fly straight into it with some good movement, skipping planting the bean and having squawks carry us to it. You might have seen this trick in Ring Rush's 101% low tab. Very cool.
That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all the encouraging likes and messages on my last videos. I hope to keep it up for as long as I can manage, so you can subscribe if you would like to see my future videos. Until next time, I'll see you later.